YouTube Dread Life 101 back today with another video for you guys. As always, keeping it kicking with the information for you. Now, today I got to share a quick little retwist routine that I do with my hair. I'm going to show this with you guys. You guys can use this if you want. Maybe you already been using it, but basically it's sort of like a two strand twist. But instead of just the two strands of hair, we're going to group a large section of hair. Uh, and make the same rope style uh, twist in our hair basically. Um, super simple, super easy. It can be done right before bed, uh, right before an activity, uh, whatever the case is that you're doing that you don't want to damage your hair or get stuff in your hair. Um, it's a super simple style. I'm putting it in my hair because I'm going to be working nights, going to be sweating. Um, and as well, I'm not going to be retwisting my roots. So if you know me, you've been watching my videos. If you haven't, make sure you go back and check those out. Um, but all my videos, usually I don't really retwist my uh, roots. If I do, it's once every two months, maybe. Um, all that is is basically me just protecting my hair, letting my hair get a chance to breathe and grow from the root so that I actually have hair to actually lock and dread in the future. So if you keep twisting your roots, you know, you kind of just leaving them with no chance of growth and development and a chance to actually just breathe and thrive as a hair follicle first. Um, but now keep it pushing with that. Let's jump right into this uh, quick root rhythm, into this quick retwist routine, <laughs> into this quick retwist routine. Let's go. And so for this video, guys, all you're going to need is your fingers and a bunch of black rubber bands to tie up the ends for when you do your twist. Now me, I like to start with the front section. Some people like to start with the side. I don't give a damn because I ain't you. Now you can do these as large as you want or as small as you want. Um, me, I'm gonna do them uh, maybe like a medium size. You can see that front section of my hair. Just taking that big group, dividing it, and then just giving myself twists from the root all the way down and while I'm twisting the hair around itself in one direction like this I'm also turning this one in my left hand uh, I guess counterclockwise or in the opposite direction so that it helps lock the entire strand together it's still gonna be big and poofy but uh, it really doesn't matter. I'm not really trying to shoot for perfection. This is more of uh, protection. Haha, <laughs> rhyming today, right? And, um, you know, this is just a style that I like. I like the big lock look. I wish that I had started my hair with uh, much thicker locks back when I didn't have confidence. And then the locks gave me a lot more confidence, a lot more than I'd ever expect. And um, if I could, I would definitely... Uh, shoot for some bigger locks but in the meanwhile we're gonna do these and assimilate thick locks and like I said you can do this if you got shorter dreads I used to do this on my hair when I first started my dreads as well looks super cool has that real natural um, I guess kind of lay to it it's not real stiff it's not boring you know what I'm saying uh, you got a lot of play in it you can throw it you can flip it, put it back in the ponytail, all that good stuff. But uh, we're going to do a time lapse, and I'm going to see y'all in the future. You'll be able to see what my whole head looked like in this mug swinging like Snoop Dogg back in 98. Feel me? Let's go. Sergeant ASAP, go on ahead and drop that. Keep maker.
Sergeant ASAP, go in here and drop that. So for the amount of time that was spent, which was roughly under 30 minutes, uh, you get a pretty decent, uh, cool look, right? A uh, nice little tight dollar sign, West Coast kind of twist to it. It's got that bounce to it. If you want, you can put them back in. A little ponytail, if your hair is long enough. If not, you can just wear them down straight like that, right? Keep it twisted. Yo, that's all I got for y'all. If y'all haven't seen my other videos, make sure y'all check those out. Just hit me up on Instagram as well, SergeantASAP13. Uh, if you're not following me already, make sure you follow me. I do follow back. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel, Dread Life 101. That's all I got for you. I'ma holla at you.